Hi, I'm Valerie, a registered nurse and health educator. My mission is to empower people with practical, evidence-based guidance so that they can take charge of their health in ways that feel realistic and sustainable. I talk about lipoprotein A a lot on this channel because I received an overwhelming response when I first shared my own personal experience with having an elevated level. It soon became very clear to me that many people were just starting to learn about lipoprotein A and were in search of more information and more support. And then I realized just how much information and support was missing around this topic. Then, just two weeks ago, I shared a new video on the latest lipoprotein A research and what it means for your heart. That video received a huge response, and something also unexpected happened. People found their way to my website and started booking my 20-minute calls to ask specific questions about their risk profiles, lab results, and how to build heart-healthy habits that fit their lives. So I have decided to make those 20-minute consults more easily available on an ongoing basis. Just in case you would like to book a call with me, I will put a link in the video description below. And if you missed that most recent video, I'll also link to that below. Now, what really stood out during these conversations is that people would mention their diet, they would mention their exercise habits, their stress levels, their blood pressure, their labs but no one mentioned their sleep. And that is a big oversight, especially for those with elevated lipoprotein A. Poor sleep directly worsens many heart disease risk factors like inflammation, blood pressure, and endothelial function. And if you've been told that your lipoprotein A is high, and if you are now trying to reduce your risk of heart disease, sleep absolutely needs to be a part of that. In this video, I will explain why sleep deserves a bigger role in the heart disease prevention conversation, especially for people with elevated lipoprotein A. I will also walk you through the latest science and help you understand how to make practical, sustainable changes to improve your sleep so that you can protect your heart. I'm going to start with a quick refresher on lipoprotein A. I won't spend a lot of time on this because I figure if you are here and watching this video, you likely already know that lipoprotein A is a unique inherited cholesterol particle that significantly increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. In particular, heart attacks, strokes, and aortic valve problems. And if you don't, I have several videos on this channel that I will link to below that have more information. But for now, lipoprotein A is structurally similar to LDL, which is often called the bad cholesterol. But it has an added protein, which makes it more inflammatory and more likely to build up in arterial walls. And what's especially tricky about lipoprotein A is that lifestyle changes alone will not lower the number. Your level is mostly genetically determined at birth and we currently lack treatments to target it directly, although there are medications currently in development. And unfortunately for now, it is still not routinely tested, and most people with a high lipoprotein A have no idea. I have talked a lot about this in my previous videos on lipoprotein A and why it is still a good idea to be aware if you have this risk factor. Because even if you cannot lower your lipoprotein A directly, there is still a lot that you can do to lower your overall cardiovascular risk by paying attention to all the other factors that affect heart disease. Things like diet, exercise, inflammation, blood pressure, blood sugar, oxidative stress, and so on. And that brings us to sleep. Because when you consistently sleep too little or sleep poorly, you are adding to your cardiovascular risk. And that is the opposite of what you want to be doing. When talking about heart health, people usually mention their diet, exercise, not smoking, or, and maybe even managing stress. But sleep tends to be the forgotten factor. And that is a problem. Many people with high lipoprotein A focus on eating healthy, staying active, and getting that LDL down, which is great. But too often, they are not aware of the need to prioritize sleep. 
In calls and consultations, my clients rarely discuss their cholesterol, their blood pressure, their nutrition, and their workouts, but almost no one mentions their sleep habits. And I understand why. We live in a culture that glorifies busyness, and sleep is often seen as optional. Or worse, many see it as a luxury for the lazy or something that is okay to cut back on, to get ahead, or simply to scroll or binge watch their favorite TV episode. But sleep is an essential pillar of health. It is just as important as nutrition and exercise, and it plays a big role in cardiovascular well-being. Neglecting sleep can undermine all the good that you are doing in other areas, especially for those with elevated lipoprotein A who already carry added heart risk. Ignoring sleep or getting poor sleep quality can be a costly mistake. So if you have been working on your heart health and haven't looked at your sleep, this is a good reminder that it is not optional. It is a foundational piece of the puzzle and very much worth paying attention to, especially if you have elevated lipoprotein A. So what exactly happens in the body when we don't get enough sleep? Insufficient sleep triggers a cascade of changes that put strain on the heart and the blood vessels. When sleep is cut short or disrupted night after night, it takes a real toll on the cardiovascular system. One of the first things affected is blood pressure. Normally, your blood pressure dips during restful sleep, giving your heart and arteries time to recover. But with poor or insufficient sleep, that drop does not happen meaning your blood vessels stay under pressure around the clock. This raises your long-term risk of hypertension or high blood pressure, heart attack, and stroke. Sleep loss also increases stress hormones by putting your body into a state of fight or flight. Levels of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline go up when you are short on sleep. These hormones can raise heart rate and blood pressure and promote inflammation in the blood vessels. Even just a single night of inadequate sleep boosts inflammatory markers in the blood. This leads to chronic inflammation, which contributes to the development of plaque in the arteries and destabilizes existing plaques, increasing the likelihood of a heart attack. Routinely skimping out on sleep can create a persistent pro-inflammatory state that damages the cardiovascular system over time. It also speeds up aging and contributes to many other chronic conditions. And there is a metabolic impact too. Poor sleep affects your hunger and fullness hormones, which leads to increased hunger and cravings for high-calorie, processed, or sugary foods. This is why chronic short sleep is linked to overeating and weight gain, as well as a higher risk of obesity. A lack of sleep also causes insulin resistance, where your cells become less responsive to insulin, making it easier for blood sugar to remain elevated. This also raises inflammation in the body, and it makes it easier to store fat, and over time can lead to type 2 diabetes. All of these are major drivers of cardiovascular disease. So fragmented or interrupted poor quality sleep can also take a toll. Waking up during the night can precipitate abnormal heart rhythms and elevate blood pressure. So while a good night's sleep gives the cardiovascular system time to recover, disturbed sleep does the opposite, keeping your body in high alert mode. Most people will wake up once or twice during the night, and that is perfectly normal. But if you're waking up three, four, or more times and spending long periods awake, so like longer than 20 minutes, that is fragmented sleep. Even if your total sleep time adds up, it will not feel as restorative. And over time, that fragmented pattern can raise blood pressure, inflammation, and cardiovascular risk. So the bottom line is that consistent sleep deprivation or chronically poor quality sleep sets off a chain reaction of physiological changes that over time can raise your cardiovascular risk considerably. And if you already have increased risk due to an elevated lipoprotein A, it is especially important not to add to that burden.
So how much sleep do you actually need to protect your heart? Large population studies have looked at this question, and the answer is very consistent. The lowest risk of heart disease is seen in people who sleep about seven to nine hours per night. That seems to be the sweet spot. When people regularly sleep less than six hours, their risk of cardiovascular problems goes up sharply. In one study that used actual sleep tracking, Adults who slept less than six hours per night were significantly more likely to have plaque buildup in their arteries, which is the root cause of most heart attacks and strokes. Another large study found that those sleeping less than six hours had a 20% higher risk of heart attack over a seven-year period. And studies show that sleep quality also plays a role. And sleeping too much can also be a problem. Oversleeping, which is consistently getting more than nine or 10 hours a night, has also been linked to higher cardiovascular risk. It is not as well understood, but it might reflect other underlying health problems. So like if they have a fatigue disorder or poor sleep efficiency. So both ends of the spectrum, too little and too much sleep are associated with worse heart outcomes. The best cardiovascular protection seems to come from that moderate seven to nine hour range. So while sleep does not directly lower your lipoprotein A level, it does influence your overall risk. If your lipoprotein A is already high, that puts you at a bit of a disadvantage from the start. But by getting good quality sleep, you can reduce other sources of cardiovascular stress and potentially lower your overall chances of a heart event. Studies do show that even people who are already at high risk can benefit from better sleep. Getting seven to eight hours of good sleep can reduce the risk of a heart attack by as much as 18%. So sleep is not a bonus or a luxury. It is a key part of heart disease prevention, right along with nutrition, exercise, and stress management. If you have been told that your lipoprotein A is high, this is one area where you can take action right away. Prioritizing better sleep may not change your lab number, but it could absolutely change your long-term health trajectory. Both an elevated lipoprotein A and poor sleep independently can promote inflammation, vascular damage, and plaque formation. But together, they compound the strain on your cardiovascular system, increasing the likelihood of more severe disease over time. Getting seven to nine hours of high quality sleep per night is one of the most effective, low cost ways to support heart health. There are several ways to improve your sleep, starting with going to bed and waking up at consistent times, even on weekends. It also helps to set up your environment to promote deep restorative rest. Bedrooms should be cool, quiet, and dark. Screens should be turned off at least 30 minutes before bed because blue light from phones and tablets can delay the release of melatonin and keep your brain alert when it should be winding down. Stimulants like caffeine can also sabotage sleep, especially when consumed in the afternoon or the evening. And alcohol, while it might make you feel sleepy initially, ends up interrupting sleep later in the night. The timing of meals is also important. So eating too heavy a meal or eating too late can disrupt your body's natural rhythms. And creating an intentional wind down routine, such as taking time for some gentle stretching or deep breathing or journaling or anything soothing, helps signal to your nervous system that it is time to shift out of stress mode. And if you are experiencing any symptoms of a sleep disorder, like loud snoring, gasping, frequent awakenings, or daytime sleepiness, it is important to talk to your doctor. Conditions like insomnia or sleep apnea are common, underdiagnosed, and treatable. Addressing them can significantly reduce cardiovascular strain and improve overall well-being. The bottom line is that for someone with an elevated lipoprotein A, every modifiable risk factors matters. And sleeping is one of the most important and the most often neglected. 
Sleep is such an important factor for overall health and longevity that I created a course called Sleep Smarter. It is a short, self-paced program that walks you through the science of sleep. It gives you tools for improving it and strategies for prioritizing sleep as part of your heart-healthy lifestyle. It is all organized on an easy-to-use Google Sheet that you can see right here. All lessons are available in video, in written form, and it also includes many tools, including pre-sleep relaxation techniques and the fillable or printable sleep diary. I will put a link in the video description below. There are also more advanced sleep programs available called Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia, or CBTI. CBTI is a highly effective evidence-based treatment for chronic sleep difficulties. Unlike sleep medications, which often provide only temporary relief, CBTI helps address the root causes of insomnia by changing the thoughts and behaviors that interfere with sleep. CBTI typically includes techniques to improve sleep habits, reduce sleep-related anxiety, and reset your body's natural sleep rhythm. So if you're struggling with persistent sleep issues, it is important to seek out a qualified provider or program specifically trained in CBTI. Look for licensed therapists or health professionals who specialize in behavioral sleep medicine to ensure that you are getting the most effective support. Sleep is not a waste of time or a luxury for the lazy. It is a fundamental biological need that supports your heart and your arteries. If you have been skimping on sleep, it is time to take it seriously and make it a priority in your life. And when you have elevated lipoprotein A, prioritizing sleep can be a powerful way to protect your heart and take more control of your long-term risk. If you have been told that you have high lipoprotein A, it is easy to feel discouraged. Trust me, I know. But that does not mean that you are powerless. You can take charge of your heart health in many meaningful ways. Supporting your cardiovascular system with high quality sleep is one of the most impactful and accessible steps that you can take. So if you have overlooked sleep in your prevention plan, now is the time to rethink its importance. And if you would like a little help with that, please check out my Sleep Smarter course, which is linked below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. This channel exists to empower people with clear, practical evidence-based guidance so that they can take charge of their health in ways that are both realistic and sustainable. If you would like to contribute to that mission, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that thanks button below. You can also support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee, either with a one-time gift or by joining my community. Members in my community get access to exclusive resources, including a monthly wellness support call with me at the highest level. And that's a great way to stay connected and receive more personalized support on your wellness journey. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit on notifications so that you don't miss what is coming up next. I have more videos planned that will continue this conversation around lipoprotein A and how to take practical steps to protect your heart. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, please take good care of yourself.